Welcome to Staley Bridge. You'll be running an all-stop service to Manchester, Victoria, departing from the Bay platform. Right, so I've tried this before and I didn't have time. It took me so long to get to the train. But I don't appear to have another way across. Because I had to wait for this train to come out. So maybe if I go this way. Yeah, so I had a bit of an aborted attempt a second ago. That's better. I was constant, consistently running late, and I just realised why. It's because I had to wait for this train to go past before I could even get in the train. It's a little bit annoying. Um, it also doesn't give you the chance to put the rear markers on. So let's have a look and see if they are set. Because we're going to go straight past the back of the cab. running around a little bit. We actually have a really, 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 really short time to do this and get going. So I'll just very quickly get this set up. early because otherwise when I, when I have to do it in a minute it will uh, not recognise that I've done it. Good, look good, okay. brakes and brakes off and give it a little bit of throttle but we're not moving I put it to lap I released it put it to lap I don't really get the brakes on this system, I really, really don't. It drives me crazy. Ooh, windscreen wipers. There we go. minutes to do 1.2 miles mm. don't massively fancy our chances better speed so let's get going still not make it I mean yeah you could forget all the lights and you could skip this down the other back actually with the train coming at the station as you arrive it's not like you can quickly get to the train 
it's kind of one of those we're just never going to be able to do it in a reasonable time and be on time Jim Bob found out one of those it's one of the, there's one of the great westerns where you just you physically cannot do it if you stick to speed limits but hey it's fine it's a British rail train after all we can't expect it to be on time a wet day up north It's um, fair to say that with all of the uh, gears and everything, um, that I can't do an awful lot of this in cab, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But sorry, that I have to do a lot of this in cab. I'm not going to stop in time, am I? In my attempt to try and be on time, I'm going to be late because I'm going to miss the stop completely. Wow, really? Oh, apparently that was good enough. <laughs> That's lucky. Wrong way. Right, so release the brake again. Oh, but no, 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 no. Stop it. Oh, come on. Seriously. Anyway, because I started rolling, perhaps they locked again automatically. Um, yeah, so it's not going well so far, is it? But still, it's not like I've got any passengers anyway. Uh, so, throttle idling. God, I guess it's one that's a bit too many, it's a bit too busy, this. control panel. Right, so I need to release the brake all the way around. Let's put a left in lap to be fair. And then get going. Now, isn't that funny? Because if I put it to released and then put it back to lap, that should mean it's released. But it, it yeah, I've had that problem. I don't get this train, I have to say. I quite like it, but it's not. It's just so not intuitive. And the gears aren't even the biggest problem. Anyway, less wind and more driving. It's the brakes that are the pain. Well, that's not too bad, is it? Celebratory horn sound. Cool. Actually, we do have a minute. So we can step out. Now there's 
4% break enough to counter a 1% decline. Yes. I need that to that point and release it and I have to release it all the way around and then put it back to that. Just wanted to check Manchester. It is. Good night. So I'm wondering, I'm sure someone far cleverer than me will know, if I only apply 8% break, does that mean I only need to release 8% break or do I need to fully release and then put it back to the lap? I wonder. I might try that, see if I can figure that out. flat stations. Mm. Yep, definitely tricky this one. So, gear selected to one, make sure the throttle is idling. Put that back to lap, actually that should hold us nicely. Put it to release and then put it back to lap. It should be released, and it just doesn't. It's a 
bit irritating. I'm trying not to get too annoyed by this, but it just doesn't seem to work as it should, as it tells you to when you're doing the tutorial, which I, by the way, just did, because <laughs> I remember how complicated these, this train is to drive, so I thought, it's been a while, I'll, I'll do the tutorial, I'll try and do it properly, and still not, but hey, it's fine, we're having fun. We were never going to be on time anyway. And that was better, at least I didn't overshoot the platform that time. But I did just stop a little bit short. There's another one going the other way. got a uh, 20 mile an hour limit coming up so to take a bit of speed off and of course too much now ah, we've come to a stop Awesome. Better, bright, gear selector one, little idling nicely, so I'm going to apply that all the way and I'm going to take it back to lap and it should still be applied, right, yes, we're not rolling, excellent, oh goodness, that's quite, uh, that's a lot to think about, let's get ready to cl close the doors, lock left, all the way to release and not worry about lap. Oh wow, next stop Manchester Victoria, okay that was quick. And we're away. Right, 300 yards, we've got 20 mile an hour limit, so there's no point in going crazy fast. Right, I'll leave it in third gear because we've got to be down at 15 in 0.6 miles an hour. Here's another 101 coming the other way. And anyway, we've got a rather severe slope 
which means we're speeding up anyway. Let's try and bring that back down. yards. A little bit over, not much. Now with the wrist that we're going to slow down too much. Put a bit of power on, brakes fully released. Come on. There we go. We're going. Breaking again. It's really hard not to force a slope in the station, which doesn't help much. No, release! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Don't stop! I have to say, the buttons don't help. I mean, I couldn't possibly do it using the, the sticks. But yeah, the buttons don't help because um, it pauses. You know, when you're going from being brake applied to, to lap, to brake release, to lap, to brake applied, it, it, you have to press the button a couple of times to get it to really go. It gets a bit annoying. There we go. That's not too bad. Don't know, we're going to hit the buffers. Ooh, just about. So, right, lock, unlock, right. There were people waiting on the platform, they're obviously waiting to greet people because this is the end of the line. This unit's taking out service, change ends and run it over to Newton Heath. So, change ends actually means switch the wiper off. I'm going to change the marker, marker lights to red. Here we go. Put the destination light off. Blank blind out. Uh, put this to neutral, I assume. Put the reverser to off. Turn off the key. We also need to switch the light off. shut every single door because there's no one left on the train anyway and it's about to go out of service. Set so the main switch to on, reverse it to forward. Engage first gear, release all brakes and increase power. And brakes shouldn't be on, obviously. There we go. Power. We're going to Newton Heath.
There we go, empty to depot. Magic, that's what we need. Better put the light on then. Just realised the speed's changed, I didn't even notice. Too busy doing everything else. Right. Okay. Michael, come on. It's gone back down to 20 anyway, so. Wait for the pad speed to go up with all the revs. We'll change it again. Bit slower on the uptakes uh, uphill. There we go. Manchester would be. Fifteen miles an hour, five hundred yards. Well, what are we doing? Just keep an eye on that slope. So we've still got a two point two percent gradient up. And I'll throttle off. The gear selects down to two. In one, so if I overbrake, I've got uh, a better chance of getting it back. Then I need to put some brake on. Probably enough, more than enough. Okay, it keeps uh, pausing, which also doesn't help much. That's okay, we're all right. Here you go, 13, 14. Next speed limit change of 0.9 miles, well it will be nearly there by then, so it's not really worth worrying about. Just balancing the speed now. Trying to keep as close to 15 as we can, but not trying to go too much over.
bouncing us on this 15 mile an hour limit. I wonder about going up to the second gear, but I'm sure it's worth it, to be honest. It might be tricky to drive, but it's quite a cool little train, isn't it? We like it. The mod house gets back up again. There, so no point in going crazy or just oh, drift in really. Put the laps already. be very very carefully hoping to get this slightly better still gonna miss it but not much yards not too bad it's duty complete secure the train and disembark so sure means switch off the wipers in fact we'll park the wipers which did work so switch these off that off that to blank first to off technically gear should be in neutral throttles I think is there an off position? No, there isn't. Okay. Put that to lap. Turn that off. Apply the handbrake. Glad like to have the train take a break. Good idea. Whoops. Switch the light off. Oh, yeah, open the window, open the door. Oh, open the door, not the window. So there's no trains. Or well, at least not moving, doesn't look like it. We're okay. Well, there you go. 
So that was a little tricky, slightly fraught in places, but we got there. NTP Transpennine Traveller. So that was the last scenario on the Transpennines. It gave me all ticks, despite the fact that I was a couple of minutes late each of them, but actually that's not too bad. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. So um, I, I might start doing service mode on this one. I haven't done service mode yet. I'm still trying to finish all the scenarios, but uh, gradually we'll probably do start doing some service mode. And um, But yeah, we'll see how we do. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, uh, likes and subscriptions very much appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'll look forward to seeing you again, either on Train Sim World or Farming Simulator, very soon. Bye for now and thanks for watching.